Today I'm going to show you how to create a symbol from an image I've loaded into Illustrator and then using that symbol create a one-way repeat pattern and then a two-way repeat pattern that you could use in digital textiles. So I've already set up my artboard. My artboard you will see I've set up with an 8 inch by 8 inch artboard. I have brought in a grid. I have clicked on snap to grid and using my rulers I have created a pattern so that I've got guidelines to work with. In that layer I also once I've created the guides I have locked those guides so that I can now work without worrying about picking them up in the pattern I'm going to create. Now using my selection tool I am going to click on the image. I'm also at the bottom of my symbols palette where I got to by going to Win Windows Symbols. I am going to create a new symbol and I am going to name it and its type is a graphic symbol. I'm going to say OK. Now, having created that symbol, I'm going to click off of the one that I, I uh, used to create it, the artwork. Otherwise, when I bring it in, it's going to pick it up. I'm going to go to my symbol sprayer tool, which is down near the bottom of my artboard. I'm going to select the symbol that I want to work with and then I'm going to select my simple sprayer tool and you will see that I have a circle with crosshairs in the center of it. Laying those crosshairs right in the center and sometimes you'll get a double if you accidentally do a quick click. I only want a single. You'll see that my my owl comes up right at the crosshairs and now I'm going to go to object pattern make. You'll get a little informational bar that says hey this pattern is going to be added to the swatches panel and any changes will be applied up to the swatch upon exit just say OK. You'll see that when I did that, that my owl turned into a basic grid pattern. My pattern options will see that I've got a pattern. I can turn it into a brick by a row. I can turn it into a brick by a column. I can turn it into a hex by a column. But for this example, we're going to use grid. And we're going to name it. You're going to call it owl repeat pattern one way. And you one way because as you can tell the owl's ears are at the bottom, his feet are at the I mean his ears are at the top, his feet are at the bottom. So therefore when you were making a fabric you would have to be very aware to create this so that all of his his parts were going the same way. But my, my owls are way too close. So I'm going to go down to the middle and you see if I hover over the maintain width and height proportions that I this is a link where I want to make sure that when I click on it, if I lock it, if I change my width and my height, those main those proportions will be maintained. But I only want to change my width proportions. So I'm going to click on it. And since my width proportions are at 0.9, I want to make sure that I give it a greater amount of width in between my owls. I'm just going to double it, so I'm going to make it at 1.8. And when I click that, my owls are now spaced apart and I am going to say done. When I say done, they go they see, appear to go away. 
but they are sitting over here in my swatch palette. So I'm now going to create a new layer. I'm going to turn off my uh, old layer. I'm going to turn off my layer one. And then I am going to go over to my rectangle tool and I am going to create a rectangle and click on my owls up in my swatch palette and there is my one-way repeat pattern <laughs> using my owls. Now, I can click on my select tool. I can resize it if I want. I can keep it at the same size it was at, but remember that in textiles that we want to try to keep it at uh, in a square proportion. So that is my single repeat. I'm now going to click off of that. I'm going to create yet another layer. I also, you'll see, I like to layer my, I like to name my layers. for me to go back to. So, I am now going to click back on my symbols and I am also going to click back on my guides. So, I can tell that I've just clicked off of my guides in layer one. I'm going to bring, I'm going to click on my eye and bring my guides back and using my symbol sprayer tool Click on my symbol that I want to use. Click on my symbol sprayer tool. I am now going to put a symbol at my lower bottom corner. If I get two by accident, just delete it. Go back and click gently. And then I'm going to click diagonally from that one. So I now have two instances of this symbol, but they are linked. And if I want to make a two-way pattern, I actually want one owl's ears to be going up and one owl's ears to be going down. So with that, I am also going to break the link to the symbols, which is at the bottom of my symbols palette. And then you'll see that when I do that, they each have the selection around just a single incident. I then am going to select them and once again you'll see at the top of the toolbar it says break link. I now can select using my direct selection tool a single image I can go to Object, Transform, Rotate, and I'm going to rotate him 180 degrees. And I now have one owl up and one owl down. Since I know because I did this correctly on the guide that their placement is correct, I can then over on my eye on layer one, turn that off. I can select both of my owls. I can go to Object, Pattern, Make. You'll get the same tool, the same comment every single time unless you hit Don't Show again. I leave it on. And then you'll see that I now have a two-way pattern where my owls are going up and my owls are going down. But if you notice, my up and down pattern, my owls are not clearly in alignment on the diagonal. So I have to go over and my height is at 3.6. I'm going to make my width at 3.6254 to match my height. Once again, I'm still on a grid pattern and I'm going to click and name it two-way repeat 
I'm going to hit done. Once again, when I hit done, it appears to have gone away, but it really hasn't. I'm going to create a new layer. And in my new layer, go to my rectangle tool. Now I can also, instead of clicking and dragging, I can double click and hit OK. There's my one way, but if I now go up to my my uh, swatches to my two-way repeat. Those are my owls and my two-way repeats. I hope that helps in learning how to use symbols. Thank you very much.